Yo, little crab here. We are starting a bossing project. Um, I plan on running 20 Elder and Shaper. We're going to do them Uber because this build can. Um, and then I'll be running the Uber Elder that comes out of it. Uber, Uber Elder, I guess. Um, we've got about 40 div worth of fragments. These are 10 for 7. Uh, like a set of 10 for 7 divine. Got 20. And then these are a set of 10 for about 13 divine. Uh, and I've got 20 of those also. We'll do 20 of each. Uh, then we'll run the Uber, Uber Elder version, see what we get. I don't have any expectations. Um, this isn't like a, let's see if this is profitable strategy. We're just going to see. I've got nothing else to do with my money. Let's dump it all in. We can easily run Ubers. Why not try to see if we get anything out of it? Um, I'm not recommending you follow this strategy, but who knows? Maybe it turns out great and you do want to follow it. This build is definitely uh, built for it. Uh, I have a previous video that showcases what the build is. Um, I will have the POB in the description below, but... Let's get started. All right, we are on to our last phase of our last Shaper set. Um, I started doing them with a Mage Blood just to use a movement speed flask, like just a better Quicksilver flask. We can go faster. Um, and I wanted to show you that we can tank everything. We can stand in degen. We can take a couple balls. Um, maybe he'll do the, the beam. We can tank that. We can tank a beam and a slam at the same time. Um, this phase, as long as you can dodge a little bit, you're good. You can get hit by like three or four of them and be fine. Um... And if you're actively playing, you'll phase them before anything matters. I'm literally just running around. But if we start hitting him, it should just be a couple hits. And he's dead. We got our only Orb of Dominance on the last one. There has been no notable drops. It's Shaper. That's kind of to be expected. Next, the more exciting and a lot quicker... Elder. Alright, we are on to the last um, Elder rotation. We've dropped a few uh, Watcher's Eyes. I've not been keeping track. To see if we got the, you know, like, 50% we need to make a profit. Not that we care about that. Um, and I'm just going to show you the last fight. It's extremely boring. Like, it's shorter than Shaper. But it feels a lot longer. Because you just do this. AFK in the center. And about halfway through start moving around but uh yeah basically he doesn't attack at all nothing happens um make sure you have your flasks up before you walk in the arena and you'll be fine i did die once very first fight i walked in without my flasks on and we have like negative 25 uh resistance without flasks on learned my lesson we got the part where we move okay now we move this is the exciting part. Portal start spawning further away and get to walk around. It's basically just like a watcher's eye slot machine that makes you wait two minutes before it spits it out or or not. We're uh, halfway there. And we are still doing this with the 72% res version. 
Um, because it doesn't matter. He dies so quick. Um, we already, like, phase him instantly. No luck on the last one. Bummer. All right, we are on to the final phase, the uber uber elder part. Um, one thing to note, we got 13 of one and seven of the other for both of them. I'm going to have to shuffle them around so we can get our uh, 20 runs in. But it's crazy how that uh, worked out perfectly. All right, we just finished all the bossing. I'm gonna sort the loot out and we will see what we got.
Right, so for regular, shaper, and elder, uber, but not uber uber, um, we got six watcher's eyes. These are the item level 85 ones. These are worth 3.6 div uh, unidentified. We got two dying suns, 60 C each. We'll peep these, check our rolls. Not great. Both are pretty mid, so they're just going to be 40, 50 C. One pair of boots. Um, none of these are worth anything, but we will look at them. We got two shimmerons. Or five belts. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, sir. Uh, let's check our these the rolls on these don't really matter unless we get like a perfect nope that has perfect life but nothing four of these helmets and a bunch of gloves uh i will spare you the time we're not really gonna look at them it does not matter uh, the rolls on them is the most useless increased armor and energy shield. Doesn't matter. Uh, the main thing is six unidentified watcher's eyes. Oh, right. And we got amulets here. Three of the frostbite one. Um, I don't think any of these are worth anything anymore. Okay, this one's 20. The despair one is 20C. Um, flammability, nothing. And vulnerability, nothing. Who cares? Um, and then for the Uber Uber, like the actual Uber Elder, we got six of the Mark of the Shaper rings. And three of the Mark of the Elder. We got one Void Fletcher. This is worth nothing. Um, I don't believe there's any way to get these worth anything. Um, no, I don't think we have anything. That's a good roll. Elemental damage. Didn't see. Wow, nice. Uh, that's nothing. These are all going to be nothing. And then the big thing is we did get four of the item level 87 Watcher's Eyes. These ones unidentified are 13 Divine. Um, we got two Orb of Dominance from the uh, Uber Uber Elder. And we got one total from regular Shaper and Elder. Uh, we also got a Forbidden Tome to drop. It dropped from Uber Uber Elder. That's crazy. And we got a Shield Bearer Div card. This would be sick any other league when Squire was worth something. Squire's worth 2 Div. This card is worth 40 C. It dropped. Never seen it. It looks pretty cool. Um, it still felt good to drop it. Like, with the Watcher's Eyes, it paid for itself. Let's um, add them up. Unidentified, you've got 13 times 4, 52. That already is a 12 div profit. That's not anything crazy, considering it took me two hours to do. Probably more, considering the Shaper. Say two and a half, three hours. That's not great, not terrible. It's chill. Um, and then you add in the three, 3.6. Clear this. 3.6 times six, 21 on top of the 52. 
73. So we almost doubled our money. Um, I am actually going to sell these ones unidentified. Just because I'm not that much of a degenerate. But we will open the basic ones. Oh, also the Orb of Dominance are like one and a half div each. So I should add that in. Basically, we're even. That adds 4.5. So we'll just add 4. 77. Rounded up to 78 because I rounded down on the Orb of Dominance. We spent 40. We got back 77. That's... That's something. Bossing works. We didn't even do the actual, like, proper rotation of doing the feared. Okay, let's crack these. Watcher's eyes. We did get hatred. It's not one of the good ones. Uh, but we got grace mixed in. People do want grace. Let's see if it's not, like, a max roll. Okay, we'll we could test that for six div. Um, precision anger, precision is good. Um, two divines anger, that's not real. Nobody cares. Anger vitality, that's not gonna be anything. Nope. Hide zealotry. That's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um. Determination grace. That. That might be something. Possibly. That could be something, possibly. This actually sells, because that. That gap of, um, you know, that price range is a little crazy. Let's see. This is a trip, uh, double determination. This one has precision. Okay. Maybe, like, list it for half this price. That's still not dead. And the last one... Determination, Malevolence. Malevolence, one div. Oh yeah, this Determination is just two div on its own. This one could also be something. Yeah. So, two we got here for eight div and ten div. The third one's dead. This one, too. Hmm, that one might be worth something well that was a fun little side project i've never done like an actual bossing like that especially ubers uh we didn't get a sublime vision we didn't get a void forge what are they called yeah we didn't get a void forge no sublime visions no actual rare uber loot we did only run 20. They're like 1% drop chances. Would have been sick to get one. Maybe next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, like and subscribe. Peace out.